Ed, we're here in New Orleans. You're out here homeless. Tell me about it. Uh, came down here for a job. Uh, job didn't work out. I resigned the position. I didn't get fired. And I thought I could pick up another job real quick. That didn't happen. That was two years ago. Uh, I'm a professional. I have degrees. Uh, just no work down here in my profession. And I ended up on the streets going to the New Orleans Mission right over here. And that was fine. They let you in the front door. You know, you just knock on the door and say, do you have a bed? And they'd say, okay, you know, you got a bed. Now, if you want to go into the mission, it's five bucks a night. And we're talking about people that don't have a job, don't have any way of really making money. Uh, me personally, uh, you know, alcohol cut up with me, so I have a real hard time making money of any kind. But it's like, if you, if you don't have five bucks to go on the mission, then you sleep on the sidewalk. In New Orleans, if you sleep on the sidewalk or in a park or something like that, you go to jail. So there's no alternatives for people on the street. You either go to jail or you find some way to get five bucks to get into the mission. And if you panhandle, you know, if you ask people for money, you're still going to jail because that's against the law here. Is it? Uh, that's why I haven't seen really anybody panhandling. I just wonder. No, it's 30 days in jail. Wow. Yeah, but the thing is, you got a place for 30 days. Right. That's the way the judge looks at it, you know? So what's your future like? Uh, I'm talking to some people this week about perhaps getting a regular full-time job. I don't know how that's going to pan out, but, you know, it could work. If it works, that's great because, you know, I'm an older guy. I'm 61 years old, and uh, despite the alcoholism, meaning without the alcoholism, at 61, it's hard to get a job. You know, that, well, it's hard it to stay sober out here on the streets. Why? People don't realize there's a point where booze just takes over. You know, and then when you're out here, it's, you know, depressing. Well, uh, there's a lot of truth in what you say, but most people don't see it that way. Right. Yeah, you know, I mean, when you're out here, you got no hope, you got no nothing. Uh, you know, picking up a beer is, uh, if, if you can get one, <laughs> is, uh, you know, a pretty easy thing to do. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Number one, that genetically I wasn't an alcoholic. Number two, I'd love to have my wife back. She uh, passed away. And number three, I'd like to have enough money to spread around to make sure a lot of this stuff doesn't happen. Thank you very much for talking to me.